Let me ask you a question, Guts. What is it you want? From... From us. From... Life. Mmm... Don't know. So far my life has been pretty much about beating the other guy. What about you, Judo? What do you want? You had a fucking spike. You know, the basics. Why'd you join the Hawks? Oh, a few reasons. Fighting for Griffith, even though we risk our lives for him, it still feels like we're normal people, you know? Free to make our own choices. But also, you know, the battlefield can be a wonderful thing when you got the allies that can appreciate its wicked sense of humor. So far, Griffith's the only man I've met that laughs at it like I do. Well, I can believe that. Thing is, Griffith is driven by ambition. But I, Guts, am driven by the need to lay waste to all those who do me wrong. And being here, part of the Hawks, allows me to do that absolutely. The god Death is here constantly, Guts. I can speak to him through the River of Red. He recognizes my voice. Then I wait. See what he has to say. And you know what he tells me? Come back another time. Once you've had your fill. Well, mostly it's a normal life thing. Pretty nice. Hey, Hero! We got a new job. Griffith has requested your attendance. Really? Yeah, so hurry the fuck up. We leave in a few hours. How about a please first? How about a go fuck yourself? <laughs> What's her story like? Really, really rapey. Alright then. Funny thing is, most of it doesn't even involve her. How's that funny? Yeah, guess you had to be there. What are you doing? Trying to visualize myself from a corpse's perspective. Isn't the point of being a corpse that you no longer have a perspective? Yeah, spoken like a true non-corpse. Come with me. I will tell you, Guts, a man of your talents would serve me well here. But I feel a danger letting you stay. You are... reckless, unpredictable, aggressive. Don't forget about my dashing good looks. You got nothing on my flowing locks. Point is, if I'm gonna let you stay, I need to know what it is you want from this life. It's not money. You could earn more elsewhere. What do you desire in this world? Ugh, this question. I guess I'm looking for something to desire. What is it you want, Griffith? In the days to come, Guts, my desires will become very clear. Since I was a child, I know I was destined for so much more than this. And no matter what, I will have what I want. Well, like, okay, I can wait for those days to come, or, you know, you can just tell me right now. I want a castle, Guts, okay? And outside that castle, my very own kingdom. And I know that sounds arrogant and completely baffling. Oh shit, man, I can help you with that. Excuse me? Yeah, man, I'll get you one of those. We'll make a day of it. It'll be fun. And I know exactly where you need to start, too. Branding. Branding? Yeah, your club. Give it a jingle. You know, like, uh, I don't know, uh... The Grim Reapers of the Battlefield, led by the White Hawk, you. Okay. Or something, either way, word of mouth, man. Best advertisement out there. But you gotta have a slogan. Then, you know, you have a throne in no time. <laughs> I enjoy your optimism, Guts, but I'm not of noble birth, so my journey won't be quite that simple. Look, man, I'm sure you got a plan, you love your plans, but here's the way I look at monarchy, okay? Years ago, before all this noble blood bullshit, there was a man. Like us, who just one day said fuck it and started taking over shit. And before anyone could start refuting him, he was king of the fucking world. And suddenly his blood was so goddamn important. So much so that any shit stain he popped out from then on already had more claim to rule than anyone else. Regardless how fucking useless they probably were at the job. Point is, that word noble is about as relevant to a throne as the next would-be king to sit on it. I'll tell you what, Guts, that might actually be the first thing you've said that I completely agree with. Yeah, I'm hella smart. So what do you say, huh? Can I hang out with you guys some more? Get your big pointy crown and the golden stick thing they have? Okay, Guts. You can stay with the hawk. Alright, sweet as. One thing, though. Actually, a couple of things we need to discuss. Uh, firstly, I'll need a pension. My needs won't last forever, and I want to make sure my finances are in order for when I retire at age 25. 
Also, my teeth need a checkup. All those fucking smacks to the face. So, we'll need to talk dental plan. Uh, I also don't work weekends or holidays. And there it began. The start of something truly life-changing. I didn't realize it then, but that moment with Griffith was the first time I think I ever felt accepted. In the years to come, fighting beside my fellow Hawks were some of the happiest days of my entire life. Okay, stop. Do I really have to hear this part? What do you mean? You, your joy of feeling happy and accepted, it's, it's boring stuff. Get to the good part. That is the good part. After a lifetime of torment and self-hatred, I finally found somewhere I thought was my place in the world. What you thought? So things didn't work out? Well, it's a complicated story. Yeah, yeah, things change. People fall out of touch. How'd you get that brand in your neck? I... It's a long story. Long story, yeah, but you shouldn't have that and still be alive. That seems more interesting than Band of the Hawk and Super Duper Happy bullshit. Hey, they were my brothers. We Were? Fought. Haha, okay, so shit did go down. Well, yeah, but before that, we found what I think was our own version of happiness. Boo! Showboard. Okay, you're being really insensitive right now. Okay, I can feel a good story in here, you're just not telling it. A good story requires more than just the payoff, okay? It's about the emotional journey. Oh my god, I don't care! Get to the gory deeds, swordsman! Dazzle me! Dazzle me with your tormented past! Alright. Where to begin? Okay. Wait. What do you mean, begin? It all started many years ago, when my mom gave birth to me, hanging dead from a tree branch with a noose around her neck. What? No, 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 no. There I was, sprawled out in the muck. Death was all but set in stone by that point. Sure, but that's not what I'm... Until, against all odds, a mercenary band happened by. Next thing I knew, I was being scooped up and taken away from hell itself. Or so I thought. I mean, I didn't realize it then, but, well, let's just say hell comes in many forms. Including hope. Jesus, no, stop! I didn't mean that fucking past. I don't want your backstory, swordsman. Just tell me how you got that brand. Oh, that. Well, alright, fair enough. What if I, uh... What if I jump ahead a bit on the main storyline? You know, trim some of the fat. That would be lovely. Sweet. Okay, uh, let's see. So, it's about three years after joining the Hawks. They're pretty infamous by this point. You know, ton of victories. And myself... Well, I'd only just begun to unlock the full range of my potential for sweet bloody combat. Needless to say, we made quite the impression on the battlefield. We're overrun, my lord. Soon we'll be cut off from the castle. My god, is there no one who can save us? <laughs> one man? You gotta be kidding me. What? My lords, over there! Who is that commander? Why, it's none other than the infamous Grim Reapers of the battlefield, led by the White Hawk. Oh my god, retreat! What a warrior. Hey, Griffith, did you see that? Did you see what I did there? I, like, charged them and totally wrecked their shit. Did you see that? Who is this man that smiles at me with such innocence, yet every day threatens my entire life's ambition? Could he be my ally? Or is he some malevolent curse before There's a good chance this will end in bloodshed. Whoever this man is, I don't trust his intentions. Every day. It's a getting closer, going faster than a roller coaster. Love like yours will surely come my way. Oh, hey, oh, hey, hey.